Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Hey, in my last video, I uh, showed you that I was putting up a uh, antenna to catch the over-the-air uh, channels from my cabin here, so I could watch a little TV, and uh, that's worked out really well. You can see the antenna up there on my roof. It doesn't take up a lot of space uh, and doesn't stick out too much. Uh, you wouldn't notice it even from a distance. But anyway, it's worked really well, and I'm getting about six really good channels, and uh, it's a beautiful day here. Sunshine in the wintertime, I love that. Okay, but anyway, I've got uh, a booster over that direction that my antenna is aimed at. Then over in this other direction, towards this town, there's another booster. Now, I could put up two antennas, but that gets kind of expensive. I don't want to do that. And I can pick up those signals, but they're kind of weak. So what I'm going to show you today is how to boost your signal using an uh, inexpensive booster. I'm going to add a booster to that system, and I'm also going to uh, enclose the wires in some pipe insulation. Now, that trick uh, was presented to me by actually one of my viewers on the other video. He says if you put those in some pipe insulation, it'll protect them uh, so that they don't get chafed. Also, it reduces interference from uh, FM and other, other signals that can actually go through the wires and, and interfere with your TV signal. And uh, the, the uh, coax cables have a tendency to get uh, brittle and worn out in the weather outside in the sunshine and everything like that. So if you wrap them up in some insulation, it will protect them, make them last longer, and keep them from chafing so they don't rub up against the wind. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then I'll show you other couple little projects that I'm working on today. So let's go put a booster on this antenna. Okay, so first I'll show you this insulation. Now this is just uh, standard pipe insulation. You should be able to get it at any hardware store. Uh, it's just a foam wrap insulation and it's got a little slice in one side of it that you'll see that you can open up. Uh, this actually, if I can get it open here, there we go. You can see that you just pull that open with your fingers. You put your wires or your pipe inside that. This is also really good for insulating hot water heater pipes. Uh, to save on heat loss out of pipes and stuff like that. But it also does a really good job of protecting wires and stuff like that so they don't uh, get chafed or, or uh, weathered uh, being outside. So this stuff here comes in like, I think this is like six foot lengths. And it's only a buck seventy nine for a, a length of this uh, narrow diameter. I think it's like uh, three quarter inch diameter is what it is. So anyway, I got a couple lengths of that which is probably more than I need, but I may need a little bit more than one, just one length. So I got two of them and I'll cut one and down and use these, save the other pieces for something else. So you can pick that up at any hardware store. Uh, and it's just called pipe insulation. They'll know what you're talking about if you, if you describe it to them. Okay, so let's go look at that booster. Okay, so what I'm going to hook to my antenna to, to improve my signal to get, get those uh, stations that are kind of weak is called a digital signal preamplifier. This one is made by RCA, the same company that made the antenna. I got it for about 20 bucks on Amazon with free shipping. Uh, and it pre-boosts uh, the signal from the antenna to your TV, and it, and it will increase it quite a bit. It extends the range, uh, enhances the performance, preserves the signal, and uh, optimizes the performance with separate UHF and VHF applications. Now I'm reading that off of the box. Okay, so what, it, what comes in it? is this is the preamplifier here again it's made by RCA and on the back side of it it's got three connections uh, just coaxial connections and one of those connections is for just if you just have VHF that you want to boost you can just put your VHF signal in there if you're using a combiner and you got UHF and VHF then you got that connection there those are for the inputs from the antenna. This is to the output to the TV. So real basic, you just screw it in. It comes with the connectors uh, so that you can hook it right to the antenna. Uh, you don't have to make a separate spot for it. You can hook it right to the antenna. And this uh, has a slide-on connector that just goes right onto those hooks and hooks it right to the antenna. You could hook it up separately. It's got screw holes, but I'll hook it right up to the antenna. That's how they're usually done. It also includes this power booster. Now this is separate and uh, you may want to add this, you may not. It all depends on your circumstances. If you're off grid you may not want to have anything plugged in. But what this does after you've ran the, your big booster off of your antenna then on your line on your inside ne uh, next to your TV you can hook this little unit here which is an amplifier as well and it has just a coaxial cable and it's got a plug-in on it. Now this is a powered booster, okay? So it takes the signal and boosts it up even farther to keep the signal stronger inside the house. So that's that comes with this unit 
uh, from RCA for about 20 bucks. Not bad, not a bad deal at all there. Okay, so that's the preamplifier that I'm going to hook up to the antenna. Now you will need a short piece of coax cable. I went and picked one up for a couple of bucks. Um, just a three foot piece of coax cable because you're going to need to run from your uh, antenna, you're going to need to run a short piece of coax cable to this booster. And then you'll take your long piece of coax cable off of this connector into the house. So you will need, and they don't send an extra coax cable, so you'll need a three-foot piece of coax cable. But you can pick that up at any uh, hardware store, should be able to pick one up. All right, so I'm going to go up on the roof, hook this uh, booster up, and put those insulation uh, covers over the wiring. And uh, then I'll show you what that looks like, and I'll tell you if it helped my signal much. Okay, so just to show you how this booster is hooked up real quick. Uh, here, there's the booster box, and I, it just has a bracket, and I attached it to the uh, post mount there. And then you can see that you need a short piece of uh, cable uh, just to go over to where it hooks into the antenna. You'll need a, about a three-foot piece or shorter. Uh, get a good piece of cable. Uh, don't, don't get cheap, cheap cable. That's not worth it for the extra dollar to get some really good cable. Uh, now, my only complaint about this RCA booster is, well, besides me being made in China, is that they, you can see they put both of the input and the output on the same side. Okay, so that means my antenna that goes into my house is coming sticking out here in the front, and I'm going to have to loop it back over to the cabin and, and attach it. That's a stupid design. I don't know why they designed it that way. They should have put the output on the back side, uh, or on the, at least on the side, not out coming out of the same front as same side as the front. Uh, but uh, maybe they do things differently over there in China. I don't know. Anyway, that, that's the only design. I would also be careful when you're tightening up these connections because uh, they seem to be a weak point. If you go ranking on, wrenching on them too hard, you might bust one of those off. So just be aware of that. Other than that, it's all pretty straightforward connection there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to route this wire over here against the cabin. But before I do that, I'm going to take that insulation and I'm going to wrap that around uh, those wires to reduce the uh, interference. Now, I already hooked this up to my TV. And uh, I can tell you, I've already got over 30 additional channels as a result of that booster. And I'll show you the booster inside because it does take some power. So if you're off grid and you don't want to use any power at all, uh, then you don't want to use a, bo a powered booster. Uh, but it uses extremely small amount of power uh, and really boosts up the signal excellent. I get 30 great channels where I was only getting six good digital channels before. Now I'm up to 30 channels with all of the uh, main news, Fox News and all those and all the old TV shows. So that's going to be really nice. So for an extra 20 bucks plus a little bit of extra cable, uh, it's well worth it to me, and that'll really boost up my signal and uh, give me some nice TV. So now I'll go ahead and put that insulation around these wires and uh, connect them up nice and solid, and then I'll show you the booster and the new channels on the TV. Okay, so now you can see I'm getting some channels I wasn't getting before. Uh, this is a this is K Jazz, which carries pretty much all the the uh, modern shows and stuff like that. I get Fox. I get a whole bunch of new channels that I wasn't getting before. Uh, this is ION. I don't even know what it is. Some of these channels I didn't even get before with my big antenna without the booster. Uh, so I'm I'm having a lot of fun looking through and seeing what some of these new channels are that I'm now getting here. And they're all coming in on digital. This is something called Kubo. Never heard of that one. Those are all new. Now again, my picture is going to show those funky black raster lines. That's only because I'm recording with a video camera. And anytime you record a computer screen, you get those raster lines. So don't let that throw you. The picture that I'm looking at is excellent. Really, really clear digital picture. Excellent picture. So that's what this little extra booster is here. Okay. And that, they send that with the kit. Uh, and this needs to be plugged in. It has a cord on it. Okay. Now, right now, I've just got it hooked in where my, uh, where my USB connector is. Uh, but I'm going to reroute it. I was just trying it to make sure it worked and see what kind of channels I got. Uh, but I'm going to reroute this down uh, away from my TV where it'll be out of the way and just plugged in all the time and I can forget about it. Don't even have to worry about it. Uh, but that little unit there uses power and takes the signal from the booster that's out on the antenna and increases it and clarifies it in the signal so that you can get a whole lot more channels. Now with just the antenna, I was only getting six digital channels, which I was pretty happy with to get six digital channels, but I didn't get the old movies and stuff like that that I really wanted to watch, but I did get Nature and other programs like that, PBS. Now I get just about everything that I would probably ever watch on cable or satellite, mostly a lot of the local uh, TV and stuff like that that I, I like to stay up on the local news and stuff like that, plus the old movies and things like that, and so this is going to really, it's a real uh, nice thing to have. 
and now again that booster was about an additional $20 uh, and so it does require power if you're off-grid you want to consider that but it doesn't use very much power at all so the antenna uh, it was I think I said uh, $39 $40 and uh, the booster would be another $20 on top of that. And then if you go with the USB, you're looking at probably another uh, $50 for the USB connection. You don't have to have the USB. Uh, this booster uh, connector here and the antenna will work with any TV without the USB connection. Uh, the USB connection is just so that I can watch it on my TV. Okay, folks, so there's another way to uh, get uh, your entertainment when you're off-grid and actually get pretty good uh, digital signal if you're within 100 miles of a booster station with a fairly clear uh, view you don't have any mountains between you and the booster station you should be able to get some channels uh, if you don't use the booster uh, if that doesn't work then your only other option is either satellite or cable or, or uh, some other system but uh, over the air antenna digital signal is actually clearer than what the cable analog signal is the picture is much better uh, over the air you'd be surprised it is a lot better over the air antenna than it is over cable. All right, so that's the uh, booster system, and I'll show you a couple other projects too.